Hi there, Ben here from the Marine Channel and uh, here at the Southampton Boat Show and I've come across this beast. This is High Speed Launch HSL 102. It's the last remaining, as it was back in the Second World War, high speed launch for, for recovering um, airmen. Sh people shot down in Spitfires and Hurricanes in the Channel. These things would go out, go and get them. Capable of speeds up to about 40 knots. Um, and that's, this is 1944-45. That's pretty damn quick. Let's go and have a look inside. Oh, absolutely wonderful. Look at that. Reeks of history in here. <laughs> Imagine the brave airmen dragged on board, given a cup of tea and a jam sandwich, back to base, up the next day. Absolutely lovely. This boat is a double diagonal mahogany hull. It's the it's original hull from 1936. There's been no patch. Well, that's been patched, I think, but it's not been replaced. It's got three engines now. It did have three Napier uh, Lion engines, which were aircraft engines, uh, powered by uh, air, air, uh, air fuel, air, air free, aircraft fuel. You are actually standing on top of three fuel tanks with around about 2,000 litres of fuel in them, if they were full. Highly flammable. Highly flammable, yes. Uh, but you're not, they're not full, you're all right for the minute. Um, everything's in threes. We've got th Nowadays they're, pow they're powered by three 400 horsepower marinized iVeco truck engines that push you along at 39.9 knots. Everything's in threes. You've got three throttles, got three gearboxes, a forward, neutral, reverse, one steering wheel. That's the original instrument panel that they had. That's all they had. This is the stuff we have to have nowadays. To, to move about. HSL herself saved 38 crewmen in 1941 as she patrolled the Channel during the Battle of Britain and got a visit from King George VI and the Queen Mother. Really, really proper piece of British history. So don't forget to get down to the pass through the National Coast Watch. Absolutely stunning. These guys have currently got the engines on on this, so they're about to take some punters out. You can charter this. You can charter it for an hour or a day. Prices start from 550 quid, so if, if this is your thing, get, get in touch. So there we are, HSL 102. Proper piece of British history. And, and uh, it actually belonged to the Royal Air Force, not the Navy, because it, it was the Air Force pilots it was picking up. The Ensign flying at half mast because of Her Majesty's funeral tomorrow on Monday. God save the King. <laughs>